imagination. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of imagination. The worker will stare into your eyes as if he can see your very soul. Do not look away, for if you do, the worker will dive at you, engulfing you in a black shroud as you tumble for eternity through unreality. After a long moment, the worker will lead you down a long hallway that seems to lengthen the longer you walk. Eventually, after what seems like hours of walking, he will turn around and run in the opposite direction. Do not turn around, for if you do, the walls will close in slowly, crushing you. After you hear his footsteps fade away, close your eyes and imagine a doorway, then turn around and open them. Where you came from, the hallway should now end with a single doorway. If the doorway is in the shape you visualized, you have succeeded. If it is any different than you pictured, in even the slightest detail, you have failed, and should pray for a quick death. When you open the door, you will see an endless, twisted hallway with many windows. Outside these windows lie the greatest fantasies and fears you could ever imagine. Do not look through them. They will tear out your eyes, filling your mind with the most terrible images of unobtainable want, leaving you to wander endlessly, tortured by what is not and cannot be. Continue down the hallway, staring at the ground and counting your steps. Once you have taken exactly 204 steps, look directly to your right. There will be an open window looking into a child's bedroom. There will be a young girl that appears to be about seven or eight, playing with a glass globe. She will only reply to one question. Why do they need it? She will look up directly at you, and the globe in her hands will glow with a bright blue light. The light will tempt you, but do not let your eyes stray from the girl. Slowly the light will get brighter and brighter, until you can no longer see anything but it. You will feel as if you are almost one with the light, when suddenly it will stop and you will be inside the room with the girl. She will smile peacefully before collapsing. Quickly take the orb and dive out of the window behind you. If you wake up in the room with the girl, you are hers now, forever enslaved. If you were quick enough, however, you will wake up inside an abandoned house on the other side of the asylum the glass globe next to you. The glass globe is object 204 of 538 and will allow you to see the darkest fantasies of whomever you wish. Beware, your new power will come to be a great burden.